there are a number of eukaryotic protist groups, which are often called algae. This is not a good biological term, however, since these diverse groups are not closely related to each other. One group, known as the heterocons, includes many algae, which tend to be golden brown in color. This includes Sonora, a uh, heterocont alga which can be found in fresh water, uh, brown algae such as the kelps, uh, which can be quite complex, including with complex reproductive structures, which can be found uh, in marine environments primarily and can even uh, reach uh, more than 100 feet in length, and the diatom. The heterocons share a number of genetic features and are named for the two different types of flagella which many possess. After the most basal lineages diverged, the uh, ancestors of most acquired an endosymbiont. It's thought this was a primitive red alga, which then adapted to live inside a larger cell. This is an example of secondary endosymbiosis, where the cell that is taken inside a larger cell itself has its own symbionts living inside. And the chloroplasts of the heterocons are wrapped in four membranes as a result, more than usual. This endosymbiont not only possessed chlorophyll A and C, like the red algae, but also the brown pigment fucoxanthin. The diatoms, which are pictured here, they are heterocons, which have then this brown or golden brown color because of the pigment fucoxanthin. It uh, absorbs light in the blue-green to yellow-green wavelengths of the spectrum, and it transmits the energy absorbed from light to the complex of chlorophyll pigments and proteins uh, very efficiently. Fucoxanthin has other benefits to the algae in that it protects them from intense light and is an antioxidant. And it has a number of potential health benefits in humans where it has been shown to be protective against cancer, an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, having anti-obesity effects, and being in general protective of the brain, liver, and cardiovascular system. So while many slides preserve dead diatoms where the silica in their outer shell, their frustule, gives them a glassy appearance, in life they typically possess a golden brown color because like most heterocont algae, they uh, possess fucoxanthin as the predominant pigment.